you some time to warm up. Uh, I'll break the ice. Sure, we all have something we can testify to God's power. Uh, every week we come in here, if we just if we think about it, for me, I never need to think about it because it's the first thing on my mind every day, is that I'm clean and sober, I'm healed, delivered, and set free, going on like 180 days, and um, never felt better in my life. Granted, I don't got the best back, but I mean that's the the most of my concerns. You know, I'm, I'm doing great. I mean, I could have been in much worse shape. My pancreas and liver, we're at the brink, are at the brink. So now I know I can't drink. Well, actually I can, I can make that decision, but I don't choose to anymore. I choose God, instead I choose life, not death and destruction, which is pain, which is all that comes along with it, all the enemy wants. Uh, I want what God wants now. So, that's a blessing, um, how great I feel now today, and how I'm using my testimony, I'm using my story to encourage others. And I'm using, I'm letting God, I should put it this way, letting God use me, I'm just the vessel. See, we can take any hurts that we had, right? We take them, God could take a bad situation and turn it for good, bring beauty from your ashes. So that's what I'm allowing him to do through me now, when I... When I share, when I go to meetings, uh, and through my music and my songwriting, because um, like I look, used to say, God's my co-pilot or God's my co-writer. Whatever. Now I'm saying no. He is the pilot. He's the writer. I'm his co-pilot and co-writer. So praise God, I got a job. It's all going well with that. I start tomorrow the training. Nice Christian company, and. Um, uh, I'm excited for this new chapter in my life. So I thank you for all your prayers. And um, um, I'm just looking forward to all that God has for me uh, in the future. So um, one last thing. This is something we should all remember. See, this is why God blessed me with the job. I had the opportunity. I had money in my pocket when I had gotten fired from my other... Well, laid off. He said he doesn't, couldn't use me anymore. I don't really have an aptitude for the handiwork, okay? So... Um, you know, he let me down with that. I, I was let down with that, but, you know, I didn't let it keep me down. I just trusted God. I didn't go drink. I honored God. And, um, I mean, the thought came to mind, but that's all it was was a thought. So I turned to God. I prayed. I went to my, did my, you know, thing. I prayed. I, I went to my meetings. Um, I, I talked to my, with my, my mom. I gave her the money. I said, I don't even want it on me. So, bottom line, I kissed that job uh, goodbye. And when you kiss something goodbye and you thank God for it and you don't let it get you down, right? I heard a good word about this the other day. Kiss, kiss that goodbye. That was a door that was closed. But you just trust God that he's going to open another one. And a couple of days later, that's what he did through a friend of mine from church. Who, um, that was this guy that works for his company. And it all, like, it all flowed so perfectly that I know it's, it's from God. And so, I thank him for that, and I thank you for letting me share it with you guys. God bless. Amen.